last season and it did feel like in that second half when they decided to flex their muscles well it made all the difference yeah look, we, we highlighted the front three uh, before the game and they've got players you know Brian Graham who was spoken about he just loves scoring goals he gets himself in position he misses chances but he always gets back in there you've got Stevie Lawless who can produce moments of magic probably doesn't do it enough for me I'm only kidding uh, <laughs> but he, um, <laughs> they've got a front three that are exciting you add in Tommy Adeloy coming off the bench tremendous finish and I think they've got a real good balance throughout their team so yeah I mean that's always going to be the question can Partick Thistle emulate it I think when you've got the crux of their, their squad with that experience you add in the players that they've added then they can do it again they've shown that tonight and the reason that that was so funny from James McFadden about uh, Stephen Lawless maybe not producing it enough was because exactly at that moment Stephen Lawless appeared. Hello, Stephen. How's things? Very good. I think James was being tongue-in-cheek there. You produce it often in Upper Partick Thistle, and you did the business again tonight. How pleased were you with the overall performance? Yeah, I thought first half we were pretty poor for our standards, to be honest. Um, managed to get the goal, and then I thought we were pretty passive. Um, thought we were the better team in the first half, so we had words at half-time, obviously. Um, knew we had a, another few gears to go, and we managed to do that in the second half. It must have been a tough shift out there in the pouring rain. So let's uh, warm the cockles of your heart by uh, showing you the goals very, very soon. But first and foremost, you have to be pleased with, with the performance from yourself, especially in the second half, because when it mattered most, you, you stepped out and what a strike it was as well. We'll see it very soon. Yeah, I learned that for Fadet, Mother. How to shank the ball. Um, I've cut across it and um, luckily enough it's went in. Um, that could quite easily end up with Brian's the first half when he put it in the car park, but... It managed to get in, so I'm delighted with that. That kind of got me out of first gear, to be honest. I didn't think I was playing really well up until that point. When did you make your mind up you are going to shoot? Because we saw you a lot last year coming inside, looking for that killer pass rather than taking the shot on. To be honest, I didn't actually realise I was that far out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I've just seen it there, I didn't know I was that far out. But no, Usually I don't hit them. Um, there was a run to my right, but I thought I might as well give it a bash. Leanne thought the keeper should have saved it. <laughs> well, one, of the, one, of the, one of your boys actually said that to me. I think, it, I think there's a wee deflection in the second they can maybe save, but listen, that's just one of the, one of the shots you hit and it eventually goes in sometimes. I think you can actually see the way Air United have defended that. They're expecting you to look for that killer pass, which we're so used to seeing, but the fact you took on the shot, you had a lot more time and space than you perhaps expected as well. Yeah, like I said, I actually didn't realise I was that far out. Um, I thought when I got the ball, there was a bit, they backed off a little bit because of, because of that pass. Um, usually Jack's making that run. I think Xander made the run there, but... You need to mix up sometimes, and like I said, that could have very well ended up in the car park. I was just joking about Leanne's uh, thoughts there. It was a fantastic race. Oh, it, was the, uh, strike that said that. it was me, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> normally what happens when Jonathan thinks of me. He blames on us too. <laughs> exactly. Um, you thought you were maybe too far out, or you didn't realise you were so far out for that uh, that first goal of yours. Let's have a look at the second one, and, and I, I'm enjoying your refreshing analysis of this, Stephen, so take us through this one. Uh, again, I managed to get the ball onto my, my left foot. We, we keep the ball really well when it gets shifted out to me. And like I say, I, I end up with a lot of space and a bit of backing off, so as soon as I shift that onto my, my left, I just try and hit it. It takes a nick. I think that's what puts it past the goalkeeper. Yeah. The, the first touch for me at the very start of the, the move. Round the corner, it, it starts the move then when you come in. Look, people always say, particularly with players like yourself, myself included, Ah, you know he's always going to go to his left, but it's just it, it happened. It's no, it's not through luck. You know, it's not through luck to get to get that opportunity. The luck is in the deflection. But when you go into your left, it's easy for people to say, "Well, why, why are you letting him go into his left? He decides when he goes on to his left." Absolutely, <laughs> quite right. And did he just decide, especially with the first one, Stephen? That you know, it was quite a close contest up to that point. Obviously, just one 0 in front. He decided you you're just going to take this game by the scruff of the neck. Oh, well, listen, like I said, I didn't really think I was playing pretty well until that, that stage. I think the, the goal kind of kicked me into action. Um, sometimes that's what it takes. I thought we were pretty, like I said, I didn't think we were great the first half, but second half we managed to go up a few gears and the goal was obviously a good turning point for us. Can I ask you, I mean, there's been a lot of change at Partick Thistle. Oh, Scott Tiffany leaving, uh, other players as well. Do you feel that this side has the potential to <coughs> emulate, maybe even go one better than last season's team? Yeah, listen, I think we've got quality in the squad still. Um, we've obviously lost big players, but we've managed to bring in good quality as well. Um, I think even last season we took a wee while to jail, and I think that's been the case this season. We've lost some silly goals as a team. Um, but I think by each passing week we're getting closer and closer to what we were towards the end of last season. And if we can get to that quicker, then it'll be, it'll be good for us. 
Well, it's been a fantastic performance from Pardick Thistle and yourself this evening, Stephen. James McFadden has a present for you. There you go, wee man. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers. Well, Stephen, thank you very much. Fantastic thank performance you. this evening. Uh, yeah, he's been a class act this evening and last season as well, Ian. Brilliant. Yeah, no, we mentioned the players that have departed the club, but you speak about the players that have remained and that are the focal point and a real central um, focus for the way the team play and everything. You know, he's behind a lot of the work, whether it's in possession, out of possession, and then he comes up with those two moments of quality in the second half where you really needed it. He mentioned that he wasn't impressed with the first half performance and we said that at half-time. Air United came into the game and they grew strong, but they've had those words and you need leaders like Stevie Lawless, like your Brian Grahams, to get a hold of the game and be the difference, and he was that tonight. And just that question I put to him there, James, for you, you know, it was interesting watching part of this all tonight, wasn't it, to kind of get a gauge on how good they are in comparison to last season. How, how did you gauge it? Yeah, I think Stevie summed it up, you know, about gelling. The, the, it does take time to gel. You're losing huge players. You know, Dockett is a huge loss for them. Tiffany, who we saw, came to the four um, last season. They're big, big players to lose. Um, so it does take time. But I think Chris Dillon signed brilliantly in the summer. You know, Ken McEnroy, Leanne mentioned at half time. I think he's an excellent signing. And but you've still got the spine of your team. You've still got you know Adam Muirhead. Sneddon was excellent in goal. Sh uh, Bannigan in, in the midfield. You've got Brian Graham. The same front three as last year. So they're still carrying the same threat. What they've done is added to the squad in areas it had to be added to, I think they can do it because you look at that performance tonight, first half they go in front, they need their goalkeeper at certain points, Air come into the game strong but Patrick Thistle are still in lead second half they come out and they're much better, then you see the players that we're used to seeing making a difference, Stevie Law is coming to the fore so yeah I think they're in good shape for this season In good shape for this season is the verdict from James McFadden let's ask the Partick Thistle manager Chris Doolan who has joined us in the studio, Chris Congratulations on a fantastic victory. Good to see you again after what was an, an incredible roller coaster last season as well. And um, first and foremost, how pleased were you with tonight's performance? Yeah, delighted, um, as you would expect. We had to defend for, for large parts of the, the first half, but we started so brightly. Um, we get that early goal. We quite often do start quick like that. Um, but, you know, we had to defend, but defended well. Um, our goalkeeper was called upon, came up with some good saves. Um, defensively, I felt as if we were strong. But we carry that threat going forward and teams will you know, take notice of it. And to come here and score four, this is a difficult place to come to. Um, but to score four, we're absolutely delighted. There was a lot of talk about 37-year-old uh, Aidan McGeady before this match. He featured at halftime for us. He didn't feature in this evening's match, but he, he makes Brian Graham seem like a, a mere whippersnapper at the age of 35 still, Chris. And as you mentioned, he got you off to a fantastic start in the second minute, just doing what Brian Graham does. Yeah, that's, and that's it. He gets in the six-yard box. That's where all the goals are scored. We say that all the time, but we work on this. We work on pepper in the six-yard box with the with balls and with runs and Brian's the one that you know if you if you look through all these goals you'll see countless like this where he's in, inside the six yard box and it doesn't have to have it be a fantastic finish you just have to bundle it over the net eh, over the line and Brian's just fantastic at him. It's just as well because he's shooting within the box was dreadful tonight. <laughs> he had a couple <laughs> blazed over <laughs> he did. But that that is exactly where you want him but the, the, it's the the play that we're seeing last season we saw it a lot particularly down the right hand side with Stevie Lawless and Jack McMillan You've got Fitzpatrick and McEnroy doing it on that side. It must be, you know, something that you've looked at to say, look, we need to be a threat from both sides. Not that Aidan Fitzpatrick wasn't last year, but having that link-up play. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I think Kerr McEnroy brings loads to us, you know. If, when you look at the way he plays, he's great going forward. He'll get back in defensively, but he's got an absolute wand to left foot. He can pick passes, um, so he can play in a number of positions, but he's such a threat going forward for us. And you just see the, the quality he has in the, the final pass, and that's the important part, the final pass. And one of your other stars from last season as well, Stephen Lawless, who James McFadden has given the Man of the Match <laughs> award to. Outstanding in the second half and just making the difference, Chris. It was, and he's been doing this all season and even last season as well. As soon as he cuts inside, you know, Stephen fancies himself, but it's a fantastic strike. You could strike that another 30, 40 times and no score, but um, Stephen's got that ability, and if you let him inside on his good foot, then, you know, he, he's a real uh, tough, good finisher, and he's a guy who can also link play as well going through there. Chris, there's a lot of focus on the comings and goings at Partick Thistle this season after what was an incredible journey last season. How do you feel about the side this season? Do they have the potential to, to maybe even go one step further? Um, I mean, we're not even talking about that just now. For us, it's about winning games week in, week out. That's as far as I'll, I'll look. Um, I feel as if we're strengthened in certain areas. You know, we've brought in quality. We've brought in guys who have won the championship before. 
that experience of winning it. You know, Blair Alston's in here, Robinson. These guys have won the championship before. Kerr McInroy, these guys play in the Premiership. So for me, the, some of the team here is built for the Premiership. Um, and we've got young stars as well. You know, you look at guys like Ben Stanway, Xander McKenzie who have come through our academy. And for me, if you're good enough, you're old enough. So um, these boys are every bit worthy of the jersey as well. And you've got a strong bench as well. And just to rub salt into the Air United wounds, uh, former Air United player Tommy Adeloy coming off the bench and, and scoring with his first touch. Yeah, and it always happens that when you come back to your old club, you usually come back and haunt them. But maybe not so much for your first touch of the game, but it's a great ball for Stevie Lawless and it's perfect. He just waits his time. And Tommy does. Tommy's got that. You know, he doesn't panic uh, in those situations. Some strikers would just lash it down the middle. He's got that bit of composure where he just slides it down the side of the goalkeeper. And what a fantastic introduction to the game. Can I just ask you, what was Brian Graham like on the bench when that went in? <laughs> Not so happy. <laughs> Not as happy as Tommy probably. But you know what Brian's like. Brian would rather it was him. But you know what shift Brian puts in. He again gets his goal. Gives us everything. That's what Brian does as well. And then we've got Tommy there. Um, who can pick up things for the, the last wee part and get his goal as well. Chris, you mentioned that defensive performance as well. Jamie Sneddon, really good first clean sheet of the season as well. That must please you. Yeah, and I think that was important. I think that's one of the... Scoring four is great. I, I love scoring goals. Clean sheet's what you need to build on. Uh, if you're going to be an attacking side who, who play the way we do, we have to make sure that we're secure defensively. In, in the last few games, we've obviously given away a couple of goals. But tonight, like I said, even to a man, even for a striker, getting back in and helping us, I felt as if we defended well from front all the way to the back. Chris, well done tonight. Good to see you once again. You. We've been speaking about Brian Graham. Let's hear from Brian Graham. He's joined Amy. Brian, congratulations. A very convincing one. Started off in the finest of fashion by yourself. Not too shabby a start, was it? No, it was excellent. And we knew we'd come here to be a tough night, but to go in front that quick was extra special. But... It's been a tough week in the Graham family household at the moment. My, we lost my mother-in-law early hours of Sunday morning and my young son, eight-year-old wee Daniel, says to me, go and score a goal for my granny tonight. So that goal's for wee, wee Rose, so that's, that's a wee special goal for tonight. Very special goal indeed. And, and talk us through it so, so your son knows all about it. Listen, it was great play interchange. Kerr McEnroy's made a great run and I've just darted to the front post. I think it comes off my heel and bounces over the goalkeeper and into the corner, so no, it was a special one. But I've read a text message there in the changing room that he had a game before he came uh, before tonight and I believe he scored as well. So that was his words to me. You score a goal and I'll score a goal, Dad. So both of us scored tonight, so that's excellent. Fantastic stuff in the Graham household tonight. Very much deserved. Should you have grabbed a few more, though? To be honest, personally, I think I should have had that trick in the first half. The one I blaze over the bar and then... The keeper said at half-time that he guessed. I thought I'd put it right in the top corner, but it's, listen, it's an exceptional save. And I says to him, actually, when Stevie Lawless, how do you save that? And how, you not, how do you save mine and not save that? Just as a wee joke. But no, listen, on a personal level, clean sheet, four goals, delighted. We said pre-match that, you know, there's been a lot of change at Partick Thistle this year, but yet again, it's the old guard turning up. Yourself and Stevie Lawless, you still know the back way to the net, don't you? Of course, experience is valuable, especially in the championship. And... Stevie's still got magic feet and he knows, obviously I know I can, I can run off the back, I know he'll find me with the ball, but he's also got goals in his locker as well, so he's a special player and I'm delighted to have him on my team. And you touched on it there, how important was that getting the first clean sheet of the season as well? I know you're a striker, but it's important at the other end as well. No, definitely, we actually spoke about it in the changing room and us defending, it starts from the front, it starts from me, so the clean sheet, it's all round, especially delighted for young Jamie Sneddon in goal, so no, we, we just need to keep pushing on now. And how pleasing is it to, to send those very raucous Partick Thistle fans up the road happy tonight? We always get a great away following and it's great to send them up the road and they're full of voice and no, I was delighted for them. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you very much for tonight. And it's great viewing for Partick Thistle fans this evening when it comes to the Cinch Championship table. If we get to see it, that is. There it comes! Thank you very much. Yes, Partick Thistle on 10 points alongside Dundee United and Wraith Rovers who will play